Welcome back to the Better Than Yesterday podcast slash YouTube, where we objectively focus on information, motivation, and realness. Uh, five topics. Today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020, episode 178. Now, first, I wasn't going to do this, but since it is a very special day to me, uh, May, um, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, uh, I want to send a big shout out to my um, son. Today is his birthday. Um, he turns 10 years old today. And I'm you know, just one of those. It, it's bigger than my birthday when it comes to my son's birthday. But anyway, first topic. Just unfollow. So when you're on social media or just even in life, there's things you, you want to be protecting your uh, mental. You want to be um protecting your mind. So for me, this is what I do on my social media. I don't necessarily delete people all the time unless they do something really heinous, but you know, I just unfollow them because there's constant negativity of things you do not want to see. And that's okay. It's your choice to not have to be there tough and just keep seeing a stuff. Unfollow them. Get your mind right. Get your, if it's so much negativity coming from somebody or some, somebody's, then just get rid of them. Just unfollow them. Um, Regain your serenity, uh, gain your sanity. Don't let your mind be so messed up with negativity. I had to do that a lot the last few weeks just due to my stance on how I feel about certain things with the pandemic. And also, I just think people just are so focused on the negative parts of it um, that they're not, you know, they're, 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 their lives is consuming them. And, and, and all they're looking at is the negative stuff. And there's never any positive or there never can be positive about it. And I get it's a sucky situation, but I like to try to have some positivity. Glass half full. So unfollow people. Get them off your timeline. Normally what I do after a while, if I see somebody likes or comments on my stuff and I unfollow, I'll follow them back and see where they at on things. So that's how I get down. Topic two. There's a fine line between business and family. What does that even mean? It's basically like this. Uh, I don't really do business with family. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to any partnerships, uh, deals, things like that, I try to keep that separate because for for the instance of, you know, if something goes awry with business, uh, business and family can be weird. Like there's some, uh, some people feel to be entitled. If you, if you had a business and then you bring them along, some people feel entitled, like you owe them something or you should have been there. Like they did this for you. They've been there for you. It's just so much going on with that, that I just like to stay away. I, I'm even like that with friends. When it comes to business, I just try to stay away from there. I like to deal with more of associate level when it comes to business and money and things like that. Like I like, I don't mind um, the support, um, and I don't mind supporting, but I just don't like any partnerships or deals too much to be established with family like that. Now that does not mean you can't help people out. I'm just saying you just have to be real careful. Some people do help them. family businesses are all over the place and they grow, but. It's just about being real careful with it. Um, again, it's a lot of people that I had helped me that were not even, you know, they, they were, they became associates, they became friends, but you know, it's just a fine line with that. And just be careful when you're dealing with family. Cause like I said, there's entitlement. People feel like you owe them because they, they're your blood. So you understand that. Topic three, get off my lawn, people. You know, that old saying, the old man is telling the kids, you young kids get off my lawn. Look, people, we have to all evolve. I, I don't understand why we so stuck in the mud about the past, uh, uh, specifically in the social aspect of things. Um, I, I myself, I guess I could say my, I feel like my music era is my favorite. No, I take it back. I'm not like that. I know my era of music. I'm really into music that came out around the time I was a teen up into my early mid twenties or whatever. So I'm really into that level of music or whatever. I do not think it's better than today's. I don't think it's better than yesterday's. Just for me, it's my favorite to listen to. Now, I'm not a big fan of things like, uh, supposedly that there's this, uh, this nostalgic thing about rap from the nineties. Not a big fan. I was more into rap, um, late nineties and then early 2000s. So that's when I really got into rap. So I'm not a big fan. Um, I'm not a big fan of, uh, actually, I, should, I take that back. I like to listen to a lot of the new kids. A lot of older people I know around people my age don't really mess with them. So let's just, the thing I'm trying, the whole point I'm trying to make is we have to evolve. Uh, 
yesteryear was not always the best. Uh, evolution is real. Just like with sports, evolution is real. Like people think, oh, the past was this and that. And I'm not saying the past wasn't highly skilled and wasn't that good, but doesn't mean the guys are bigger, stronger, faster than they with um, technology and things like that. That does matter. So anyway, people evolve. Uh, staying stuck in your time period, what you feel is best is... I mean, it's just like the it's like the fax machine in an email. Like, are you going to continue to be faxing things when everybody's emailing? Like, let's evolve. Do you want to keep? Uh, you can text now. You don't have to write letters. You know, it's just things like that. I don't think we have to stick with the old ways of doing things. I think we do evolve, all of us, and move forward with it. Topic four. You know, I was going to attack this, but. It's funny to me that people are still lining up for Jordan. I thought a lot of things was done online. Michael Jordan shoes. Um, it brought my attention because um, they were showing pictures. Uh, they left, lifted the stay-at-home order in Georgia. And the first thing people did was go and buy Michael Jordan shoes and, and stand in line. Now, first off, look, I'm one of those people who are into getting the businesses and stuff open back up and kind of letting the economy roll in its choice. But that would be not a choice that I even would do is to stand in line. But I guess that that's kind of biased of what I'm saying because I wouldn't stand in line even if this didn't happen. So it's just weird to me that people have spent, they spent that much time throughout the year standing in line for shoes. Never done it. Now I used to buy Jordans, but I would get them later. I didn't need to get them when everybody else get them. And nowadays it's a little different. You could order them online. You could get in that lottery, whatever the thing they got going on. Um, I'm not going to talk about it from a financial aspect. I'm just going to talk about full time and safety. People be careful if they open up stores. If you fear that, that's not the best place to be. I wouldn't have a problem with it, but I'm just not a stand in line type of person. Uh, so yeah, just be careful out there. Cause you know, you just never know if you feel, like I said, if you fear the pandemic, if you're okay with, um, not being fearful of it, I, um, I understand, but you know, just chill out with those standing in line for the Jordan. So I just feel like there's more productive things you can do with yourself and your money, but I'll stay away from the financials on this one. Topic five, I'm gonna be a little bit uh, aggressive today with topic five. Um, not all sex is the same. You ever heard that saying, guys, are like, um, oh God. I don't know if I should be that aggressive, but I will. They say pussy is pussy. Um, that's a pretty, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that saying. I, th I think it's a pretty bad saying. It's, um, when I say, uh, not all women, um, in bed are the same. A lot of guys, um, uh, from what I, you hear, the general masses believe that as long as you having sex with her, uh, you know, this is coming from a single aspect. I'm not single, of course, I'm in a relationship, but I'm just saying, like, I remember being single and, um, a lot of guys you hear say, oh, as long as you hit this and that, whatever, you got it. No. Um, once you get a certain age and mentally you hit a certain point or mostly you hit a certain point, you want good stuff. And the only way to gain that for a person such as myself was to have, find someone as I found with my lady that mentally was, uh, stimulating. So, uh, that is a false, or uh, in the words of y'all president, uh, our president, I should say, I don't like that y'all president, I'm in the United States, so in the words of the president, uh, fake news, because I just feel like um, not all um, sex, uh, vagina, if you want to call it, pussy, whatever, is the same, it's not, it's different, <laughs> uh, some women are better than others, uh, that is, uh, that more, I, it's funny because um, a lot of guys don't feel that way um, from the general populace. But, yeah, some women are just better than others just as a man. You know, because women kind of get a bad, poor choice when it comes to um, the sexual experience with guys. Um, uh, they say women don't even come what uh, is a strong high percentage. It's around the 50% mark, maybe higher. I'm sure it's higher than that. So, um, for us guys, there could be bad sexual experiences as well. But, anyway, I just wanted to jumping that because it came up on my timeline. I thought it was an interesting topic because again, that whole, I, all, you know, all of it is the same. That's crap. That's not true. There's bad experiences for us guys too. So anyway, thanks for listening to the better than yesterday podcast slash YouTube. Today is uh, ooh, Tuesday. Yeah, I just said that. Today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020 of episode 178. Y'all have a great day and go attack those goals.